Good morning, Turtle Club. It is I, Mag Synchro, with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and we are here with another Epic Rag with Mag episode. That is our Arc Survival Evolve series, sponsored by ArcServers.io. Throughout this month, you can use the code ARC2021, ARK2021, when you create any server on their actual platform as a new account to get 20% off your first month's bill. Uh, so this is a sponsored thing. If you're wanting to help support the channel in any way, you can absolutely use that code. And that will go toward credit for us on the sponsorship that we have. Um, and uh, if you'd like to sponsor the support the channel any other ways, of course, guys, we appreciate that. We have links in the description. And we do have an epic creator code if you want to sponsor the ARC streams that way. If you buy ARC, a DLC, anything like that inside the Epic Game Store, which this server that we're playing on supports, you can simply use the creator code MAGSYNCHRO, all capital letters, and that will get credited to us as well. I, uh, I had to stop for a moment as I was getting the stream ready uh, for a couple things. One, I uh, this was just a beautiful sunrise type situation coming up. Uh, so I had to look at that. It was just right when I parked. It was just like the, the sun hit me just right, coming up there with the arc in the background. Uh, two, we had to. Uh, well, let me go ahead and just pull up our inventory here. We we had enough materials to start kind of crafting these. Um, we get a, a good supply drop, and we really need to start being able to pod some of our dinos. Um, because you never know what's going to happen, right? And even though we've been as diligent as we can be, life sort of snuck up with this. And we have some pretty low-key lax settings on our server. So one would not think that we would wind up having problems with keeping our dinos alive. But Candice, who is our um, Diplodocus, was just about dead when we got in today. Because Candice hadn't eaten in a very very long time apparently at some point Candace was knocked away from the food trough and that just causes problems so we went on a, a farming spree we went on a crafting spree and we started crafting these cryopods now on our server cryopods can be crafted a little bit later than normal um, they usually unlock at 51 I think we didn't actually unlock them until later. We are using the auto unlock stuff, so you don't have to be on any particular server like Extinction to get them. It doesn't take any Ingram points to learn them. It just automatically unlocks. But it is very resource hungry. And if it wasn't for the fact that we'd hit a drop on our way in, because uh, we were about to go farm some crystal, because we only had like 49 crystal, uh, we were going to be completely out of luck with that. Uh, so the goal today is going to be pretty short as far as hitting the first goal, and that is to tame a Tapiara and a Tapiara X. I would like to get both, um, and we are now going to start hitting up some of these. Good morning, Keo. We're now going to start hitting up some of these bonus dinos on our server, and. What I mean by that is dinos that um, don't naturally spawn on this server. Uh, for instance, case in point, the gas bags here. These are pretty fun. Um, they have an insane amount of carrying capacity. Uh, they travel really weird. Uh, as long as you have gas in the tank, they take very minimal fall damage. Uh, and they're really hard to steer, really hard to control. Uh, eventually we'll take uh, tame and uh, deal with one of those, but boy howdy, they are not easy to tame on our server, especially with the torpor changes. Um, so some of these more interesting dinos that are in places that they're not supposed to be, and we've had the server going for three months now, I think? ever since about a month after Epic Games made the game available in the store um, for free for everybody so we, we are now kinda going here and looking for some of these things that uh, I feel like we're not spoiling for anybody else playing on the server that oh that dinosaur is on the server um, like 
um, the, the tappies and yeah, the tappy axes. Now, as you'll notice, if you're familiar with the Ragnarok map, over here is what's known as Damien's Atoll. And Damien's Atoll is known for being very, very low key, chill, relaxed, and not dangerous at all. And one of the things we wanted to keep, because of several of the people that we have gamed with, that's Obsidian, awesome, um, have mentioned that they like to build and they like to frequent Damien's because of the fact that it's a very safe spot to play at. And I didn't want to take that away from them. But I did want to make things a little bit more interesting. So we do have things like the gas bag spawning over here. And we have another thing, and that's the, the primary point of the stream today. And that is the tappies. And these things are skittish. They run, they dart, they, they're terrified of anything with a pulse. Um, they're doubly suspicious of anything without a pulse. Look at that thing. It is. And they're faster than anything on wings, um, to be realistic. Um, the other big news is we can turn on movement speed for flyers now, and we did. Now, we have nerfed the stamina because we actually increased our stamina on all of our dinosaurs because we weren't able to actually do things like classic flyers or Nagis speedy flyers in the server. So to offset that, we'd increase stamina on all the dinos to let them be able to fly longer. Um, all right. We are hoping that we can blow this guy before he takes off. Where are you at? What just happened? Wow. Did he just despawn right in front of us? Like, I was super stoked about that. Oh, I forgot. That's one other thing that I keep needing to do. Um, apparently the... No, no, I fixed that. Because I remember to do it last week. The, the dino wipe that we had going on an hour before stream started, so we would make sure that the server was stable every day at 6 a.m. has been changed uh, to 5 a.m., and that's because they don't recognize daylight standing, uh, savings time where the where the admins are housed at. So I had to offset that by an hour to fix some things. Hmm. So now we just gotta find another tappy. All right, here we go. Here's another tappy axe. Maybe, just maybe. Come on, Tappy X. In the words of Elmer Fudd, be very, very quiet with hunting tappies. What? Now the great thing about our server is that we know for a fact that we have it coded to where these guys will absolutely spawn over here. But that doesn't make them any easier to tame. Just because you know where something is in Ark doesn't mean you know exactly where you can get it. And I'm not even sure if we can follow these things. But it ain't going to stop us from trying.
Listen to the gas bags, guys. Look at it. They make this cooing noise. They have these little... Look at their eyes. Ah, didn't want us to see his eyes. All right, it's fine. That's fine. Gas bags are not aggressive. They will fight back, though, if you actually anger them. And the only way you can really anger them is by bopping them in the snoot. So we're not going to boop their snoot at all. They are not boopable until you've got them tamed. All right, so let's let's uh let's give this thing a wide berth. What an interesting dino! Yeah, they're uh, they're very cool, man. They uh, they have an air bladder. Did I get it? I missed it. I missed it two times. But now it's going to fly and it's going to go all the way bye bye. But yeah, they have a, an air bladder that they inflate and then they expel all the contents of the air bladder to travel quickly from one place to another. There is. Can't tell if that's the same tappy we just spooked or a different one. And unfortunately, in a few moments, we're going to have to start thinking about making more bolas. Which means we're going to have to think about being a little bit on the violent side. Hmm. Now, one of the things that's interesting about how we went about utilizing the spawners here. Ah, as you'll notice, these tappies fly awfully low to the ground, and there's not really much about that that we can do because of the fact we're not using something cool like simple spawners. We're, we're all we're able to do for spawning in our own custom dinos is utilize. Okay, it's a level forty. All right. Get some thatch, get some wood, get some flint. We probably have fiber already, but we need some. Our arrows, we're going to make some arrows. And we're going to apologize. We need some rawhide. We need stone. All right, and we can make eight bolas, so we're no longer low on the bolas. All right. Yeah, Keo, the gas bags are pretty cool. Um, I really wish we had the proper stuff to really try to tame one of these guys because it's 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 mechanically unique in the way these things fight. And and, and again, it's because from this end here they exhale air and they just I mean it's like a deflating balloon. And they can shove you all manner of just places you don't want to be. Alright, so he's probably not coming back over dry land any 
minute soon, which is unfortunate. You know, another dino that we really could tame and do good with, though, is a Stegosaurus. And there is... We get, we got the pick of the litter for Stegosauruses over here. I'm not going to lie about that. We, we, got a, we got quite a few Stegosauruses here. Unfortunately, because there are so many Stegosauruses here, if we hit one, we are liable to make the whole neighborhood angry at us. And I don't know if we need to do that. Yeah, it, it's, uh, and, you know, they're just kind of uh, goofy looking, you know? I mean, I think that's one of the things that I like the most about it is they don't look like they're anything spectacular, per se. They don't look like they're anything um, that if you were to, you know, like, this thing, you hit this thing, you know it's going to hit you with its tail, you know it's going to stomp on you with its feet. Um... Unless it actually, and look, the way it smiles, those are some pointy teeth. Um, it looks like it could probably rend your flesh, like if you looked at it wrong. Uh, and then you get to one of these things that seriously just looks like a, uh, a caterpillar. I mean, little antlers just making noises and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so... There were three tappies over here, apparently. And we managed to scare all three? Ooh. That's another fun one, too, is the feather light. They like seeds, and we have no seeds. Alright. So this is the first little island that we have access to of Damien's Atoll that could give us access to tappies and it looks like we've unfortunately tapped out the tappies here so there's all sorts of good dinos here I mean if you're if you're really playing over here you have access to the stegos and the trikes you have access to some parasaurs um, I believe bald dogs will spawn over here too I don't know what happened. We, we had one Tappy despawn. We had another spook off and go away. And I think we had the, the other one despawn too. Now this is where things get a little, little more interesting. Um, this is still considered part of Damien's Atoll. But there are some other spawners over here. Ooh, but... could have swore I saw oh there's another one over there okay oh this thing's beautiful looking look at that guys oh the colors in that thing Oh. Ah. Okay. This one is so unique looking. I really want it to like settle down over land and have another shot at it. Look at that thing. That thing is that thing is gone. That thing's almost out of render distance. It did not care to meet us at all. It said no. didn't want one bit to do with us. I 
I don't say I blame it necessarily because we're definitely in the suspicious field here. I know I saw another one down over this way. Alright, okay, we got one. Now it's just a question of actually taming it before it breaks free and flies away. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, lots of meat and kibble. That's all it took was us to actually get one one bead on it. So that's a male. Oh, I would love that to be a female. I would love that to be a female. Uh, the face cam, there's some room for uh, Keo, but the green screen is unfortunately what did not do well. Um, so when we had everything to where I had just one computer set up and everything in the gaming systems, the green screen was a wall that basically partitioned off a corner of the house as if it were in its, its own bedroom or its own room. And unfortunately, if I put up the green screen now for the face cam, uh, there's where it's behind me uh, now is like my front door. So if Degrad's coming in or out, if we have other people coming in that may or may not want to be on camera, or if maintenance is coming in or out, or uh, any number of other things going on it just doesn't work out that well uh, for one uh, if I don't have the green screen up if I do have the green screen up I am effectively blocking the bathroom away from anybody who's not in either the main bedroom or um, anywhere else so like if Digrat wakes up early which she does occasionally she's basically trapped in one part of the house and so it was one of those things that we, we gave it a go for a little bit and then we had to undo it and we're working on another solution uh, there's a a chair mountable green screen yeah oh yeah man uh, so true story turtle club the the turtle cave as we call it right the house that Digrat and I share the apartment that Digrat and I share um, it is 850 square feet that includes all of the rooms Hello, Flame. So, Digger and I, 24-7, I'm working nights, she's living during the day, we have about four or five hours of overlap every day, so at any point in our apartment, um, you know, we have somebody awake, we have people using the air conditioning, we have people using the lights. Um, working from home has been great, on one hand. But it's increased our electricity bill by a considerable amount. Um, it's not, yeah, not much room to work with, and and that's and when you think about this, um, the 850 square feet that that includes the bedroom, that includes the closet space, that includes the restroom, and that includes this little porch area. Do I have a server recommendation? Um, are you looking for official? Are you looking for unofficial? Are you looking for modded? Are you looking for unmodded? Um, those are kind of important questions. Alright, so we got a tappy. I feel like that's going to be probably the only one we get today, but uh, hold up, hold up. 
Where's this? Where's this food bag? Here's this food bag. You don't care, but no mod. Like, so are you looking for no mods then? Because the the best experience um, from a an unmodded perspective. I generally recommend people play on official for a little bit um, because they're not modded. That's probably going to be the the de facto there. I'm I, I'm pretty uh, happy with the way our our uh, vanilla server turned out, but it's available just for those members that are in good standing of our community who've been here for a while. Oh, it's okay, Kyo. No worries, man. Uh, I, I, it's it's on the to-do list for 2021 to get that all back in place. Um, and the, the desk space significantly shrunk also. So I'm trying to re-engineer my desk space to where we can get the cup of the day back. Like the where I used to have my cup for drinking at for the cup of the day, um, I have a different... I have my work desk where I actually have my drinking water at right now. So there's, you know, there's been a lot of stuff that kind of got moved around because I had some furniture over there that was not a desk with, you know, two monitors and a new computer and or a work computer and everything else on. And so I had some more table space and that's all had to be moved around as well. But yeah, it's it's on the list of things that I am working toward and it's also one of the reasons why the streams on Wednesdays uh, have been moved to Saturday for our Kingdom Hearts stream. And we did not replace the, our fifth stream with another stream. Um, and that is kind of really where we're at with that. Is because I can use those days to really uh, catch up. Um, well, Flame, first off, you'll want to be an actual subscriber of the channel for a minimum of a month. Um, so, once you've done that and have proven yourself to be a productive member of the community, then you'll have access to the username and passwords for the server. But I would presume you're probably looking for a server right now. Um, cool beans. Appreciate that, man. Is that a corpse? Nope, not a corpse. I guess another question, the Flame, is if you're looking for, like, PvP or PvE... Oh, and I guess the other question is, are you on PC, PS4, or Xbox, or on Switch, or mobile? Because those are also very important questions that I forgot about. Don't remember anything in here. I didn't think there was anything in there. You're on PS4. Okay, well, Flame, this is only a PC server, unfortunately. Um, it is Epic and Arc on Steam and on Epic Game Server. But unfortunately, PS4, um, those servers are those servers are few and far in between, unfortunately. Um, they're, the cost for those, for independent streamers especially, is extremely prohibitive. Um... So not many people know this, but on Xbox and on Switch and on X, uh, PS4, you have to have a actual separate console for those servers. So to run an actual Switch server, you have to have a Switch that's not anybody's playing on it, just a Switch. 
you also have to have a subscription to the online service for those servers. So like on PlayStation, if you see a PlayStation server that has its own PlayStation, it is generally a specific type of dev PlayStation, and it also happens to have its own subscription to PlayStation um, online. So most people, uh, when they go to renting a server like that, it costs a lot because right out the gate, you're paying for the bandwidth, you're paying for like $15 a month for PSO, and then you're paying for all the hardware rental. Uh, the last one I priced, because I was really wanting to run a PS4 server, because we had like 9 or 10 subs that were actually playing on PS4, and it was going to run me about 55 bucks a month for 10 slots, which... I, I really like playing with people, and that's one of the reasons why we made this excellent Epic game server and made it unmodded. But fifty-five bucks a month is is just too much for for me to be able to to deal with, unfortunately. Hey, Lewis Snowy Gaming, welcome back, man. All right, so Terrence, I got some berries. I don't have any purple berries. Yeah, it's some money, man. Um, Xbox isn't as bad uh, because you can technically run an Xbox server on a computer, but you still have to pay um, for a Windows license, which uh, actually, yeah, it has been a bit, man. But it's all good, you know. We we don't take attendance. We're, we're just glad when people come back and and we we miss you when you're gone, but we totally get that life happens. How much do I get paid for YouTube? Oh, um, so I, I did the numbers last year. I made like 400 bucks for the whole year. And to stream, I paid $850 for the whole year. So I actually paid four hundred and fifty dollars a stream last year, um, and that's that's just like monthly cost. That's like the price for Xbox Live. That's the price for PlayStation Online. That's the price for the Nintendo Switch Online. That's the price for my internet service. That's the price for the servers that I rent for di various different games. For and if you add up all the actual games that we bought for the channel for streaming um, it actually comes up because I'm doing my taxes right now um, to stream last year I paid around fourteen hundred dollars it was like thirteen hundred six hundred uh, thirteen hundred and sixty eight dollars and some change um, so <laughs> most most streamers that are like under ten thousand subs they they don't really get paid they just get a discount <laughs> on what they're doing and that's you know but that's not why I do it I like to stream because I like to talk to people you know I, I like to play video games I like to I'm gonna have an internet account usually yep tax season has come upon us Keo I I, uh, I took my last pay stub and I started getting things in order started getting things in order Man, I was really hoping we could find another Tappy. And not scare it off. That yellow one was just amazing looking. But it is what it is. That's nowhere that we want to be for trying to tame a tappy because that's the dangerous spots. I do know that we have the tappy over this way. Well, so here's the thing with taxes, uh, Keo. And for anybody who is a young adult who is joining the workforce and will be filing taxes this year in the United States. Hey, T Mac, how's it going, man? Here's one of the actual guys on the server right there. Um, so in the United States you can start 
preparing your taxes as soon as you have your last pay stub for the year before. Um, and that's when Digret and I start going over our information. And because we do uh, fully uh, fill out the itemization forms and do the standard deductions, and we compare and we try to determine which is better for us, and we want to make sure that we spend. Oh, oh, is that one of those? Is that one of the small ones? Oh, that's just the water. Okay. Uh, so, at the at the beginning of the year, right when January happens, we can usually get the last pay stub for the year before. And that also gives us an idea. Um, some years, you know, things happen, and depending upon your finances, you may find yourself owing taxes. Some years, depending upon your finances, you may find yourself getting a tax refund. It all depends on your financial situation. It all also depends on uh, any kind of changes. You'll be filing a substantial tax return next year. See, some people do that. You know, I uh, um, one of the the most gobsmacked I've ever been when doing taxes is um, when Digrat and I first got married. Digrat was withholding her taxes before we got married, as you know, single filing. And I was withholding mine as single filing, but we were hold, withholding our taxes um, from state and federal, and then we got married. And when you get married, there, there's some differences in the tax table. Now, you do wind up paying considerably less in taxes in some cases, but in other cases, you wind up paying more. And we found out that once we had did our initial filing and had several states combined, we come up owing Uncle Sam a little bit more than what anyone would have figured. And you know that's 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 just kind of the unfortunate side of tax law. You know, if you're not prepared for it, it happens. Yeah, yeah, TurboTax. Um, Quicken, uh, Tax Act. There, there's a number of places that you can file your taxes with these year, these days, and most of them are pretty robust and really keen to do their best to not just get you a real good filing status and return, but they also want to ensure that you're going to continue using them. And so most of them are, are really user friendly now, really user friendly. And if you, and as long as you're not trying to do something out of the norm that like you know 95 percent of the people in the in the country do then you'll find that those kind of one size fits all solutions to be really really just out of the park slam dunk come run uh, kind of things right touchdown and all that good sports analogies uh, let's see here this looks like Interesting. Okay, hold up. Hold, hold the phone. I'm not sure I needed to come in here. Uh, maybe I can't even get out afterwards. That might be like carvable. I might be able to take a pickaxe to some of that. Interesting. Still finding things all these days on this map. Been playing ARC for over 5,000 hours. And there's stuff that I, I still get surprised with and, and discover like that. And Turtle Club, speaking of some of the people that are on the server and mentioning TMAC Music, he's also a streamer. He does some really nice, relaxing music on Twitch. Definitely recommend checking his stuff out there. And he's also published on Spotify. So if you've got a Spotify account, you can look up TMAC Music and you can find some of his tunes there as well. All right, how, how big a boy are you? You are 260. You are a lot bigger of a boy than what we want. What about you? When they were building Stegosaurus' Hellfire, okay. They stacked you pretty full too. All right. We got all these drink darts, and we have run out of taffies. 
that doesn't mean that we can't still fight some stuff. Level 50. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about a level 50. I feel really good about a level 50. Let's let's see what we can do though. We need some Mejos. I noticed that I uh, I was I was checking it out the other day, and I thought you had like three or four, and then I only saw the one. I was like, okay, but you had mentioned that you were going through some stuff, so I was. But yeah. All right, let's see here. So we have the Stegosaurus there. Doesn't seem like he's got any friends nearby. Which is absolutely what we're hoping for. We're going to... Hmm. You know... There's no way that's a Stegosaurus. Okay, that's a Stegosaurus we're looking at. All right. Distro kit. Interesting. Not a service that I'm familiar with. Man, you know, music is one of those interesting um, technologies that have done so much um, back and forth with the internet. I, I don't want to so much say it was a love affair or a hatred or anything like that, um, but there's definitely been some some unusual stuff going on with it. All right. So this guy's a level 50. You able to climb up these rocks? You able to climb up these rocks? Okay, looks like that's a no. Don't worry. We promise just to take absolute advantage of that. Okay, hold up. This might be the, the better option then. Okay, Turtle Club, I have been outsmarted by something the size of a truck. 
I don't know if I can handle that or not. <laughs> uh, it's a service that submits your music to music stores and streaming. Ah, oh, that's cool. So they're a redistribution center. Do they get any rights to it? Because I've seen a couple of similar services, and they actually get distribution rights for your music by using their service, which is why I've, I have a couple other pals that do something similar, and they've they've had problems with stuff like that in the past. All right, you there with the walnut-sized brain, according to my it. According to my old encyclopedias. Uh, you're coming. You are. Are you coming down with something? Is that what's going down? Are you coming down with me? Awesome. Alright, that's what we're hoping to find is this dude. Feed them. Now we have us a berry gatherer that won't take up too much space. Because that was what we had on the our island that was unfortunately dying was a lot of berry people. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good deal. It's not a bad deal at all. Not a bad deal at all on that T-Mac. That's cool. Uh, Terrence is about to get a little bit of experience to the next level. Hmm. has been a pretty good hour so far. There's quite a lot of health points into these nodes too. Interesting. I'm trying to think of anywhere else we could find as a tappy that wouldn't be full on danger zoned. Though it does seem like they fixed the render bug, so that's good. That's another thing I need to do. Grab this, put it over there, and get ready to Pokeball Go as soon as this guy comes up. All right, we have a Stegosaurus. Get in the Pokeball. Whenever you're ready. All right, so we've got a couple of things that we've tamed. What's the next one I really want? Actually, let's go ahead and flip that out. Ooh, we are starting to get a little bit on the heavy side. Let's see here. I don't like the idea of dropping crystal. Stone we can drop though. We can absolutely drop stone. I have no problem with that. And we really don't need all of these berries. Alright, that's not too bad. It's a lot better. Okay. Hmm. 
have a Dodicarus, we have an Ankylosaurus. Crawl on the bed and watch some Hulu, okay. No problem at all, Kyo. And Turtle Club, we uh, we are still going strong for about the next 15 minutes here today. Uh, we do plan to make this a two hour stream slot still, but this particular weekend, um, we got a few things work related before our shift starts this week that we got to do. So, but we absolutely will be back tomorrow morning at 7 a or 8 a.m. for our Pokemon stream, Pocket Monster Mondays. After we took on the normal gym, we are moving toward gym number six. Well within our grasp there. Hmm. You know, that's something I would love to tame. Oh, that is a whole lot of piranha. Look at that. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can we... Number one, first and foremost. How big a shark are you? Can we find that out? Not without dying we can, it looks like. Oh wait, we, we, we tagged it just a second. Let's see if we can't... 290. Oh, pfft. yeah, we would love to tame that in some sort of weird uh, fantasy world. Okay. Not taming a 290 right now. Not until we get some ascended stuff. Alright. And that is a Bomb Squad attack Fiomi if I ever saw one. Alright. going to politely land here That's an Agatina. Oh. 2.5 gigabyte download. Yeah, I had a, I had a, a pretty hefty size download myself um, a couple days ago that I had to do, and and then it corrupted, so I had to do the the file verify thing, and that that's never fun um, because it has to go through and like compare with the checksum every single file. Oh, there's a dragonfly. So they're not good. All right. I don't see. Yeah, so those dragonflies over there. I don't see any gators here. That's what I'm terrified more than anything around here is gators. And I see the snake out there. I expect the snake to come up to me. Expect to, to boop some snake. Boop the snoot. There we go. That's the other thing we wanted to do was level up. So we could go over here and check it out, guys. Speed. We can now be faster on our flying dinos. It's what I wanted to show. It's what I was hoping we get a chance to show off. 
was the speed on there because these things are by far, bar none, already one of the fastest dinosaurs in the air. And now that the server has the flag available for it thanks to Wildcard's latest update, which did break some things, so let's 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 uh let's not completely be grateful, right? Because things did break. But one of the things that it does allow for now is for faster dinosaurs. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's a Barry. We will let Barry be. Barry gets to stay where he wants to stay at. Barry on that side of the world, me on this side of the world. We also need to take a look at our weight. That weight's getting a little bit on the, the heavier side. Let's, we can refresh our meat too while we're at it. That obsidian and that crystal, we're definitely not wanting to drop at all. Oil we can drop, the transponder node. Sure. We'll keep those. We are sprinting with this dino, and it's moving this quote unquote fast. Because it is definitely a little way down. All right. Um, you there. Hello. As the meat goes, I guess we just drop this like big, huge pile of it. Technically, at some point, we need to tame a dodo. Kind of amusing to think about that, too. Ah, no worries on that, man. I uh, I definitely know how that goes. I definitely know how that goes. My my service when I when I get good service, I can get about a hundred meg, and it's like if all conditions are great, and I'm the only person doing anything on the server at any given time in the home, and the only thing that I'm doing is that one thing. And that's testing my internet connection. I get about a hundred meg a second if if nothing's bad on the service. If we add anybody into the mix, I, I'm lucky to get like thirty or forty. And heaven help me if the system's actually doing any kind of updates. It uh, if if it wasn't for I have the fact that I have some QoS on my router to actually dedicate like twenty meg. Um, as as a uh, preferred connection, I I think Digret would probably like hate me for doing anything on the internet, which is you know a, l a little bit on the facetious side there, right? But but you know you know kind of low key, not lying. I mean. And it's just the way the world is these days, right? With the internet being the way it is. You have to have some kind of bandwidth to, to do anything. I mean... I'm trying to legit think about the last time that I actually watched anything on my DVR. And I, I think there's like one show I'm watching on the DVR right now, and everything else I'm watching is streamed. Like... And, and that's even... Ooh, that's something I could possibly fight and tame and be sad that I can't. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe I had some rotten meat on me, and I don't. No, scorpion. 
What's that? It are those famous last words? Okay, these are saber tooths. How good can I fight these? That bad, is it? Like, I shall now decree the meme of the internet troll. Alright, kitty, where you at? Where you at? 1v1 me. Come on now. Uh, that's not 1v1. That's, that's, that's rude. Gonna be like that. Let's put the single stacks. Yes, they will rot quicker. Unfortunately, the the spoil settings on our server are pretty aggressively high, so it'll take quite a while for it to rot. We have some back at the base, so it's not too bad. But yeah, it'll take uh, six hours for that meat to rot, and so it's it's not gonna happen <laughs> on today's stream. But we definitely need to do a stream where we go and, and tame the uh, the carrion animals. Here, kitty, kitty. Okay, I think I can do two of these at once. I don't think they'll be able to fully overpower me like like four at once did. Okay, that's a problem though. That's a problem. Those things used to be like comic relief in the arc, and they no longer are. Carnos are legit scary now. But. But. That one seems to like not know how to get to me. Oh, he looks like he's figuring out, though. Are you figuring out how to use the ramp? Maybe? What about over here? Are you smart enough to figure out how to get up here? Hmm. He figured it out. Just in time to go down. Okay. server will be restarted in 15 minutes that's the thing I didn't get fixed okay 
the whole Turtle Club. Uh, that's also one of the reasons why this was not going to go as well as we wanted it to. Um, because we knew that we were on a timer. The server maintenance, um, it does go down slightly after 8. It's set to go down at 8, but we have the warning, we have the notification, uh, we have everybody aware of that. So, um, yeah, we're going to just fly on home. And let's just uh, kind of dial into where home is. But yeah, there, uh, we should be able to get to our, our house before the server shuts down and boots us off, so that's good. And we accomplished some good stuff today. I mean, you gotta figure, we got a Tappy, we got a Stego, uh, we were able to... Oh, I'm way too hungry. Water's getting low. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I, I guess, uh, did any of these actually become real water? All of these finally became real water. Awesome. All right. So we carried all those in our in our packs because those um, you'll you'll find cold water in the desert, but apparently it doesn't spawn the way I was trying to get it to spawn, and it doesn't always spawn as drinkable. But if you let it get from cold to warm, it'll come in as a full bottle of water. Because that's how cold water and fresh water apparently work in, in canteens. So it's irritating, but I'm okay with it being a full pouch. Alright, let's see here. We're on our way. Well, that's a very awesome looking feather light also. And those are tricky to tame on this server because they they spawn over water so they don't actually land on on the uh, ground often. But there's a couple of people on the server that have been figuring out how to tame them. So a uh, good good deal on that. I've, I've managed to tame a couple myself. Okay, and... I believe... This is either Pelic Or this is... Let's see here. Yep, yeah, Ruby's Raiders. There's Pelix. Place. Looky Loo detected you. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at that. That is that is some pretty awesome. Oh, look at the look at the look at the time. I gotta keep looking at the time. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this this right here is a Arc Death Squad. Look at all these demorphs. So the way this works is they're all set to follow the raptor and a squad of Demorphodons are basically like flying piranhas. You know all the stories you hear about how fast can piranhas skeletalize a cow in the water? Uh, Demorphodons are basically that in the air. And so you, you have them follow the raptor and you have the raptor lead the charge and the Demorphodons are basically just this flurry of gnashing teeth and claws and then the problem that you had to worry about is gone um, so yeah that that's a thing <laughs> it's a thing that happens and occurs all right and let's see here we are getting closer the server will be restarted in 10 minutes And 
we'll see how bad we lose our, our our frames once we hit over here. This is Digret's favorite part of the island with all of the otters. And this is after a dino wipe that happened a couple hours ago. Uh, they spawned pretty aggressively over here. <laughs> So, yeah, that's a thing. Alrighty. Well, we did really, really well. Um, we're going to land. Oh, let's go ahead and put Terrence back here. Grab everything that's not food off of Terrence. And I'm sure at this point. Headstone on you, I thought, but I guess not. Okay. So, food goes in here. Um, narco berries, we absolutely want to make more narcotic. So, how do dino wipes work? Um, so, we have a server maintenance, and there's just a console command. It's destroy wild dinos. Uh, yeah, any, any untamed dino basically gets garbage collected. They all get obliterated. Any tamed one stays. Any unclaimed dino stays. But any wild dinosaur that does not belong to the unclaimed tribe or to a actual person, um, those dinos uh, disappear. Which is one of the reasons why we have the notification go out before the wipes occur because we absolutely want to make sure that nobody is in the middle of a difficult tame or something like that. It's also why we have the, the notification as to how often they happen on the server on startup and all that because it would just not be, it, it just wouldn't be good to be in the middle of it and all of a sudden what you've been fighting this whole time is gone. I've had that happen to me. It's it's definitely not it's definitely not um, enjoyable to say the least. Um, hey, we leveled up. Awesome. Awesome. What were we working on? I feel like we were working on something semi important. Melee damage. I'm trying to get that to two fifty. Level one hundred and twenty. We learned tech triangle ceiling foundations and tech triangle roof. So as you get to one hundred in our server, you do start learning some of the tech ingrams. And they are not fast, some of them are slow. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the next thing that we're going to try to work toward. Crafting is one of those sleeping pods so we can keep getting experience. Alright, we want to close our doors. Right. Those are all in there. Actually, we need to go drop our berries off. And we need to. Obsidian, polymers, transponder node, arrow, arrow. Narco. Put our seeds in the seed box. But yeah, when the dino wipe happens, it's a little bit more than just a dino wipe on our server also. Um, when the dino wipe occurs, it wipes all the dinosaurs that are wild. It also obliterates all of the beehives. So we don't have any problems with beehives uh, over spawning. And it also eliminates any uh, eggs that are on the ground, which is if you're trying to hatch an egg, that's important too. Uh, the charger pod thing. Oh, so um, this right here is the cryopods. You put a dinosaur in them. They're basically like pokeballs, and they have a 30-day charge on them on our server. So after a 30-day period of time, anything inside the pod 
expires. Um, basically, the Pokeball's got to stay charged, otherwise the Pokemon inside poofs. But this right here, the Cryo Fridge, which is a level 88 Ingram, um, it'll actually let you put them in, and it will charge them back to full charge. And that's uh, right there. You can see one right there is 30 days. And right here's another one that should be 30 days as well. And so as you can, you can get the cryopods out and about in drops. And so they're good for like temporary usage. But once you get to uh, learn the cryo fridge, you can go to the arcs the obelisks or you can go to the drops or if you have a, a tech um, crafter and you can craft these and I and, and I just have the one but it and it's it saves so much space so much space I think we got all of our well let's just do this so we can uncombine and recombine all the food stuffs there we go yeah, there's our spoiled meat. We have 345 spoiled meat, so, and it won't, and it itself will not spoil one out of the stack until a day and 18 hours. So we're doing good there. Well, Turtle Club, it has been a, a good day. I I have had fun. I I'm I feel like we've accomplished some good stuff today. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. we will be playing Pokemon Emerald on Pocket Monster Monday. We're going to be making our way through the ocean using surf to try to get to the next gym. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have a good night. We have some things to do before we go to sleep, but you all have a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Um, thank you to the people that made this a good stream today. Keo, Flame, Lewis Snowy Gaming, and T-Mac Music, as well as the Lurk Squad. Thank you all. Um, Whatever you do, guys, today, beyond the stream, and of course, have a good one. But more importantly, stay safe and wash your hands, guys. Thanks for watching and take care.